Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created my KOD inspired album cover nails, all freehand painted with acrylic paint. Here's J. Cole here on my thumb. I'm going to go over the details as to what colors I use, some of my favorite brushes, and give you guys a couple of little tips and insights as to how I did these nails. I also went ahead and did a little bit of artwork on my right hand, my dominant hand. I am going to add some more details, but for this video purpose i am going to be showing you guys the details behind this inspired album cover on my nails so just stay tuned for this video So to start this video guys, I'm going to start off with the acrylic paints that I used for this look here on my nails. I'm also going to insert some clips and show you guys the tools that I used for this set. So of course I was using Apple Barrel. You guys know I use Apple Barrel for just about everything. I do use a couple of other brands. For instance, I use uh, Decor Art. I use a couple of other brands that have metallic colors and things like that. Show you every color that I use and insert some clips for you guys to see the behind the scenes of this process as to how I freehand painted this album cover on my nails. So we have purple iris, jack-o-lantern, and territorial beige. We have flag red, fuchsia, and bright blue. Cameo pink. Antique white. Bimmy blue. Aquamarine, parrot blue, and bright yellow. Two blue, bright magenta, holly branch, nutmeg brown, pewter gray. So I used a total of 19 different colors for this look on my nails, guys. One thing that I will say um, with using different color acrylic paints, instead of mixing your primary colors like how I used to do, mix the right amount of color um, ratio to make that certain particular color so like for instance I have my antique white I have my uh, territorial beige my nutmeg my nutmeg brown excuse me so I have different variations of the primary colors but it's just easier and faster to work with if you do have all of these colors instead of mixing your own colors so when it comes to some of the details here on my nails, I'll zoom in very closely. Like for instance, right here on the back, I did do some mixing of the acrylic paint colors together to get some of these colors that you see on the background of my nails. I did go in with these blue colors here and also added a couple hints of black to get different hints of deeper blue colors here on my set. Um, when it came to making different hues of purple with the purple iris that you guys see here, when it came to the purple iris, I just went ahead and went in with darker colors just to make the pigment a little deeper. And then I go in with lighter colors and make my highlights and things like that in my artwork. So of course, I'm going to go in with the background color and then I'm going to add some highlights. I like to add a lot of details to my um, acrylic painting sets. So that is one thing that I do notice that I like to do now than before is I like to just have a whole collection of colors and I'm able to work faster and I'm able to create the colors that I want to have on my nails a lot faster than mixing primary colors. If you guys look at one of my older videos, for instance, my Tyler the Creator video, I'll link that in the um, description box or also on this video. Um, I use simply just primary colors for that look. I didn't have all of these colors I just simply used my primary colors that I had on hand um, from when I was painting and drawing before I got into nails and I was just using old art supplies on my nails and that's when I had the bright idea why not you know use some apple barrel paints on my nails and I hit the ground running with that so it is a little bit easier to have a variation of colors I've noticed with doing nails versus doing art on a canvas when you're mixing colors and things it's always good to have a lot of colors and products on you to use but personally when it comes to the nails I've noticed that I personally like to just buy every single color every shade so when it does come time to use that particular shade or I need that shade right then and there 
I'm not sitting there trying to mix colors together or trying to get the right hue or the right pigmentation. Like I don't have to worry about that with having all of these different colors. So that is a tip I'm giving you guys. Definitely invest in different colors so it does save on your service time when you are servicing clients or if you are just doing your nails at home, it will just be a little bit faster if you just have a variation of different colors. This is only a fragment of my Apple Barrel paints. I have about over 50 different um, Apple Barrel pro uh, products and I also have other brands. For instance, I like to use, I believe it's called Decor Art. I like to use Decor Art and it's glow in the dark paints. I have some other metallic paints. I have so many different brands that I was using prior to doing nails. So that is something that I will say um, definitely invest in a lot of Apple Barrel products. I This is not a sponsored video. I just really like Apple Barrel, but definitely have a um, investment into multiple different colors so that you can save on time when you are trying to paint on nails. So these are the only tools that I used for this look guys, not including my acrylic brush for the nails, but for the artwork, I just simply went in with a six millimeter brush. I went in with a dotting tool and I also went in with my makeup sponge that i use i still cut off little pieces this is the same uh, makeup sponge from my tyler the creator nails that i did last december that i use so uh when it comes to my own personal sets like i use my own tools and supplies on myself so this is the same makeup sponge that i used on myself and i simply just cut off a piece and just use whatever piece i'm using and just use that for my painting so these are the tools that made the magic happen on my nails. All that I use, guys, no pencils, all freehand, just these tools, a sponge, a six millimeter brush, a dotting tool, and another six millimeter brush. Of course, my water, and I have my art bowls, I have my palette and things like that, but I simply just went ahead and used an old makeup sponge for majority of this look, and I just went in with my six millimeter brush that I use here for everything. This is the six millimeter brush, if you guys can see that right there. It is a short haired brush. I went ahead and used the six millimeter brush, my dotting tool, and that's how I got this look right here, guys. Very detailed, very, very detailed artwork. Um, this artwork took me about nine hours total to do that's not including the acrylic set that i had to do like i had to do this whole entire set i went out and did the acrylic portion of this set i just went and did a clear acrylic and then i went over top with the acrylic paints that you guys see right here in the background and i just simply went in and did all of my fine details with my six millimeter brush of course consistency if you guys watch my acrylic 101 beginner video you guys will learn watch and learn consistency is key when it comes to acrylic painting when you want to get very hair like details into your artwork here like how i did you will have to have different types of consistencies with your paint so maybe a thicker consistency may work maybe a thinner consistency may work maybe the right consistency may be what you're going for in this look you really have to get a feel for the product in order to be able to know how it really works so you can do the same things guys with the simple tools and all of the acrylic paints that i use by simply just understanding the product that you're using and practicing with it so now I'm going to talk about how I like to keep my artwork on my hands, making sure that it doesn't wash away. Apple Barrel is a water-based product and it can simply wash away. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have asked me and a lot of you guys are curious as to how I keep my paint on my nails for months at a time. So now I'm going to go into how I like to seal my artwork. This was a requested question on my Instagram, also here on my YouTube channel. I just launched my patreon which starts november 30th and if you are interested in finding out the behind the scenes as to how i do my specialty so now i'm going to go into the tips and tricks that i personally like to use 
with using apple barrel acrylic paint as you guys know acrylic paint is water-based so i'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how do i keep this paint on my nails if you guys are interested in watching and learning how i do my art style you guys can check out my patreon which will be linked to this video and also in the description box where you guys can watch and learn all the behind the scenes see everything that i do acrylic paint acrylic nail art designs included you guys will get some perks on there people that are interested in learning acrylic artwork you guys can definitely click there on the link in my description box and learn how to use acrylic paint for my youtube subscribers here on my channel you guys will not be forgotten i will still be posting the same content here on my youtube channel my patreon will just be for people that want to watch and learn and get more in-depth details behind the scenes and more perks to my style of acrylic nails and nail art you guys think about this video in the comment section below leave any comments that you'd like to see here on my video channel i do look at you guys's comments and your questions concerns i do take some of you guys's opinions and ideas and i try to give back to you guys here on my channel i made this channel to give back to you guys to give you guys a place a platform where you guys could find somebody that is willing to give you guys critique and tips and help because i'm a new nail tech myself and i had no guidance or no one to go to so if you guys have any questions concerns definitely leave a comment down below make sure that you like this video give it a thumbs up share it possibly it's very free and i'll see you guys next time in my next video